since I don't work here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that what we did on Kobe was, after the Challenger accident, and we were going to launch on the shuttle, we just we went about our business the next morning. The next day, we started to look at every launch vehicle in the world, Ariane and Long March and Proton, and we just did it. The question is, would the system now have allowed us to have done all that? I think the system then and the system now, they want you to tell them what the solution is. They don't have solutions, anybody that's higher than we are. So I think in the end, we told them what we could do, and we basically told them how we were going to do it, and the system proceeded to let us do it. But I think the other thing is, I, I know you could become inundated with review teams and the paper, but I think the idea that we had three of the best engineers at NASA review this program, they were the ones that could stand up and calm a lot of committees down. So I mean, if you I, have talent, you, I mean, that's your power. The, sure. the talent is the power, and I also think you need to tell them what you're going to do. If, you, if I go up above people and ask them what we should do, they're not going to know. I need to tell them what we, what we can do. And the next day after Challenger, we proceeded to go off and try to find, and we found a solution. Right. So it's owned by the team, and the team oh, the then team. drives how the system, you know. I mean, I realized 7120, and I was involved with reviewing that and all, and it's, a lot of it, to me, Seppi, is common sense in there. And if the system, and you have to push back on some of the people who don't know it's common sense, but some of that, I agree with it, it's common sense to do that, do that work. And we did a lot of it, but it wasn't documented. So I would just, I would tend to push back on them and tell them this is how we're going to do it. John? Um, I, I don't feel afraid of 7120. It uh, codifies what ought to be done. And so if uh, somebody in some other agency wants to know how to do big projects, I say, read our document. It, it's the Bible. <clears throat> and so I don't, I'm not afraid of it, but in, in a very innovative project, you certainly have to work it a little differently in different phases. Uh, at the beginning, you don't want the same depth of review that you want later when you're actually trying to prove that your f real flight hardware is really going to work. 